What's up guys, Proper Truth here again with you guys. So you guys are gonna get another deck profile. This is actually gonna be Winwitch Winwitch Invoke. I know last time I put um Alexis's Winwitch True Draco Invoke deck. But this one's just Winwitch True Draco uh Winwitch Invoke. And this one's actually from uh, a friend of mine named Neos. He goes by the name of Neos and he's usually a blue eyes player, believe it or not. But then he's transitioned over to this format and went straight into uh Winwitch Invoke, which is really annoying like it, it, it is a very competitive deck this format i went up against it but you guys will hear all that after so let's get straight to the profile guys but before we do let me just give you guys a heads up there will be noise in the background like before um because again there was a tournament going on there's people back and forth and a judge and all that nonsense so let's get to it guys don't forget to hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't subscribed let's go guys What's up guys, Papa Truth back here again, alongside with Neos. Neos, what's up, what's up? So, what do you got? I got a deck profile for you, um, Win Witch you know, Invoke. Win Witch get, Invoke? Win Witch Invoke, I'll okay. get right to it. Uh, two Alistairs. Two Alistairs, um, only two? Yeah, only two because the third one was kind of cloggy for me, so I was like, um... And you can so recycle him too. I, did, I can recycle him, I was like, I'd rather play two, to be honest. I felt comfortable too, I'm still play testing with it, so it could change. But it's working good? Yeah, it's working good for me. Alright, cool. Alright. Three Ice Bell, standard. Of course, of course. Two Winter Bell, standard, and the one Glass Bell, standard. The three, two, one. Yep. Okay, okay. Uh, two Goku. I play him because it extends plays with the, the invoke part. So with him, I can make really broken boards with my extra deck, which I'll get into a little bit later. Okay. So I like I like him a lot. Okay, only two, not three. Yeah, two, only two. You I'm seen him up though at two? Yeah. Okay. Because I play a lot of draw cards, I play desires and all that. We'll get to that in a second. One blue boy. One blue boy. Hand traps. Three ash blossom. Three dashes. Yep. Two Valor and the one Maxi. No Ghost. No uh, Ghost. No. I don't think Ghost Ogre is too good this format. It, we'll see as the, the format develops, but I'm playing this for the mirror. So the normal Alistair, I'm going to just Valor it. Okay. Uh, so and then I can save the Ash for something else like Desires or whatever the case may be. Also, Valor is good against him. Okay. And they normal him and they search out the the, the knowledge. Yeah. And I can Valor that and they try to card a Demise or Desire. Like I said, I, can, I have yeah, the Ash. Oh, that's yeah. smart. Yeah. So I like to so I'll play that. I'm comfortable with this hand trap lineup. Okay. Spells. One Regeki, okay. one Dark Hole, one Soul Charge, one Secret. One Secret and one yeah. Blue Boy. Okay. Yeah, I only like the one Secret. Like, it's, um, I like it, but OCD was playing when they still were playing the, the Wind Witch Invoke stuff. So I follow, I, I use that as my the basis for As a deck. guideline. Yeah, and I like it a lot. So Okay, but you see it then. Yep. Two Desires. Of course. Two Knowledge. Two Knowledges. Two Vocation. Okay. It's standard. Two Meltdown, two Terraforming. This is why I play um, only the two, the two um, Alistair himself because I, I have a lot of ways to search him. To search him. So I, I draw the Terraforming, then leave it to this, which is then leave it to the Alistair. Then I'll be uh, yes. like hell. Yeah. So I feel like three. I don't feel like three is necessary, but like I said, I can change it. Okay. Uh, three Cyclone. Cyclone's really good in this format still because Pendulum Magicians are a thing. So and this, still got two Dracos. Yes. And two Dracos as well. Okay. But I feel like you'll see more magicians than Draco, honestly. Yeah, but it's, especially but it's good for both things. True. True. And Paley was too, believe yeah. it or not. Oh, purple. All right. Uh, three strikes. Three strikes. Uh, Ooh, is that a German? Yep. Oh. Three floodgates. I like floodgates a lot, even though there's link monsters where floodgates help. With, it's another win condition for the, the deck. Materials. Yeah, if they, so if they pen someone with the, the Magician's deck, mm -hmm. and I floodgate it, then yeah. this guy can possibly OTK, the OTK with it. Which so one what, is that one? So what he says is, you can attack for every monster your opponent controls, and he does piercing, and he gains attack for every card for every card on the field. So he, so he, has, so he, so he gives the deck like a lot of OTK power. That is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. I like the card. And then one morning in Imperial, that's another one. Condition Imperial doesn't deck. stop you? It, no, it, so does, it, it, it does, but um, you know how to use it. It's not about knowing how to use it. It's like I wanted another like win condition of the deck, so I feel like everyone's gonna play magician, so I wanted a way to like really hurt them. That's if I true. have an established board and I flip this, it's kind of the same thing when you flip emptiness, you know. That's you have true. An established board, you flip and now, now you're just making it harder for them. That is true. That is true. Okay, okay. So that's the main deck. 40, right? Yep, 42. 42, 42. 42 okay. Yeah. Yeah. Extra, extra deck. Yeah, extra deck. One Kokaitis. One Kokaitis. Uh, two Raijins. Two Raijins. 
Uh, one Perkett Trio, as I said. One Perkett Trio? Yeah, Perkett Trio. Okay. Two Mechaboo? Two Mechaboo? German Mechaboo, I like that. One Megalancia? Megalancia? Or okay. Uh, for the Synchros? Uh -huh. One Winter Bell. One Winter Bell? Uh, one Clear Wing Fast Dragon? He's broken. He's the best. He's real he broken. Is. And he's been helping you a lot, yes, right? Yes, he's real he broken. He negates... He negates any extra deck monster's uh, effect, uh -huh. and he makes your attack zero, and that's permanent. Permanent, that's Yeah, right. so he's real good. So you make your fire war, your whatever. This guy, that's how you out it. That's, how, that's what I did to Anthony earlier. He's kind of... <laughs> he was tight? Yeah, he Wait, was. Who, who, you did it to fire war to yeah, zero? I did it to oh, I would have been tight. Antonio. Yeah. Antonio. And Crystal Wayne, the god. Oh, know. yeah, he is. Then I play Diamond Diamond. I play him because like if I want to get like if I want to I use him as bait so if I have like uh, you're doing a good time bit. So if I have like Calica or um, the other Wind Witch monster or um, Alistair himself, uh -huh. then you know I can make him pop something on the field and then I free up my extra deck zone again that I can play invocation. So he just he just oh, I just okay so yeah you are just baiting somebody out yeah, because I'm of the for spot removal that's it and then okay I see what you mean and then invocation they yeah. you got the you still got it you opened up the yeah the extra deck zone yeah pretty much that's all that's really all this is for okay. Uh, Tornado Dragon, I play him because Paleo's are a thing again. Paleo is so, I think, oh, pen, Pendulum's too, but I mostly make him in the Paleo matchup. Uh, I like him against it, so he just, he's basically an MST. Yeah, but wait, he destroys or banishes? He destroys. So yeah, but if you, if, you do, if you destroy a Paleo, they can activate from the trigger game. Right? It just to interrupt their chain, so they play oh, like, okay, okay. so they, they activate something, and then and they have something engraved, I'm going to chain and pop something else, and so now I'm going to force them to activate something else. I see what you so, mean. So it just, it just helps in the paleo matchup. Okay. Uh, one proxy dragon. That's for the for the um Goku. Goku. The Goku. And then the guy, the god himself, the Goku. Goku. He's such so, a good fucking lane. So I, what I would usually do, I'll do Deco. Uh -huh. I'll open the Goku and the and the Alistair. I'll do Deco. And I'll do Mecha Bugs. So this will be a strong board, and then I'll have you know back row of my hand traps. If you have somebody over here, they try to then, target anything. Then, you can yeah, use him. Yeah, I can. Instead of Mecha also, Bugs. what I can do too, like um. If you know in my next play, I have to throw another extra deck zone so I can normal Alistair, you know, continue making another fusion, whatever I need, and then probably go for a game. That's probably true. Game. All right, all right. All right. Uh, I'll do the side deck real quick. This could, this is subject to change. This is not final, so we don't want to make everyone aware of that. Okay. Uh, I play two, two, two D barrier. Okay. Triple deflector. This is for the two Draco matchups. Two matchup. Draco matchups because diagrams still like three. Yep. Anti spell. I don't know. I don't like this card. I, I, it doesn't hurt the deck. Like it. Like this deck hurts um, magician as much as it hurts um, magic specs. That's how I look at it. <laughs> <laughs> like this, the card doesn't do any. Doesn't do enough. It, it slows true. them down, it's but it doesn't do enough. It doesn't do much. What I think is an, a really good card is unending nightmare. I think I'm yes. gonna place it on unending and I'm gonna place it. Yeah. But I, I think unending is a much better card. Okay. Okay. Two twisters for when I go second. Okay. Two Danko from um, Paleos. Paleos. And then Kaiju for Magic Masterpiece. No slumber. No slumber. Okay. I feel like I feel like slumber. Slumber. I wanted. It's not. It's not worth it to be honest. No, maybe it is. I just couldn't find the space. I kind. I kind of like. I actually the like your deck. your side deck the way it is to be honest. I kind of like it too. All right. All right. That was interesting actually. It is annoying, guys. Believe it or not, I went up against it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm laughing because I did terrible. Like, he had answers to everything, guys. Like, you have no idea. So, I'm telling you right now, my, from personal experience, it is a good deck, guys. It is. It's a very so, strong deck in the meta. I, don't, I wouldn't, maybe I wouldn't call it the best deck in the meta. But it's, it's like it's tier a, two. It's a contender. Yeah, it it's is. A contender. Like, it can do something. It can top. Like, I feel like if I had, like, all the two Draco pieces, I would play two Draco in both. In both. Okay. Yeah, I'm missing these diagrams. That's the only thing I would change. All right, right. Any shout outs? Yeah, I want to shout out to my man, Prophet True. Oh. Thank you for having me on the channel. Of I course. appreciate it. Anytime, bro. anytime, bro. I want to shout out to the, the squad. Oh, Team Proper True. Squad. Yep. Yeah, Prophet True. Squad. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, man. So thank you for uh, showing off your uh, deck. No problem. Thank appreciate you for it, man. Me. Anytime, man. Yeah. So there you guys go. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. See you at the next video. Later. So there you guys have it. That was Neos' Winwich Invoke. Now, I know the other day I posted up uh, Alexis's True Draco Winwich Invoke deck. And as you guys can see, it's two different decks, similar but different. You see, Alexis's strategy, from what I'm assuming and, and from playing against it, it's pretty interesting because of the fact that she can end board with a 
Deco Talker and let's say uh, Crystal Wing and if you get rid of that, a masterpiece is coming out with a Mechaba right after and it's like, yo, what, what the hell? Like she knows how to back her strategies up. Now I'm not saying that Neos doesn't know how to do that. What Neos does is uh, he goes straight full power first turn. He can end both Deco Talker, Crystal Wing and Mechaba and you're like, with Imperial Order and you're like, what the hell? Like I can't, he won't let you play Yu-Gi-Oh. That's how Neos plays. He, may, he likes it when his opponent does not like to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, I went up against him with Lice Worms, and it really, it was a back and forth. You know, I won one match, he won one match, and I won because of Honest. You guys know how dangerous Honest could be at 3 now, this format. So, it's a very difficult deck to get through. I think it takes skill to get through it. And I want to thank Neos, because he, I know some people are thinking about building this deck, this format, because it is one of the uprising decks that is, that's coming back. Thank you, Niels, you know, uh, uh, allowing me to put this on my channel for other people to see. If you guys are interested in building it, there goes a start of a deck for you guys to uh, get an idea and get the, the wheels moving for you guys. So, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. And again, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Later.